Now that Barack Obama is out of office, one way the Obamas are making the big bucks is through their tell-all books. Instead of respecting the British monarch's trust extended to those who were her guests at Buckingham Palace, Barack was caught joking about the Queen's bling and revealing unflattering secrets about their overnight stay. Well, the Queen and her country are outraged as they pay him back with a nasty surprise. Queen Elizabeth II, left, Barack Obama, right, photo credit, Leon Neal, AFP, Getty Images, Mark Wilson, Getty Images, the Queen of England is a gracious host, and for the Obamas too. Use their state visit in which they had the honor of staying the night at Buckingham Palace as gossip for their tell-all books is a disgrace. But this shouldn't come to a surprise for those who remember Barack Obama's hatred toward the British as he took office. In fact, Obama loathes anything associated with the British monarchy. It stems from Barack's leftist education that taught him Britain was basically a racist country that subjugated millions of blacks in their imperialistic quest to rule the world. Who can forget when he disrespected our UK ally and returned the Winston Churchill bus to the British Embassy? Sure, at one point during their history, Britain was an imperialistic power. As Americans, we know that better than most nations, but that was over 200 years ago, and the United Kingdom left those ways behind for good after they left India. Not all colonization was evil, it brought many good things to undiscovered parts of the world. But digress. The British monarchy today, and specifically Queen Elizabeth II, is someone heads of state show respect to when they visit Great Britain. In 2011, the Obamas were honored by the Queen with an invitation to stay overnight at Buckingham Palace in the Belgian suite, which encompasses six magnificent rooms. In a preview of the How the Crass Obama Administration is Cashing in, Ben Rhodes, the anti-Trump former national security, Advisor, just published a tell-all book, and with Barack's approval, he revealed secrets about the 2011 Buckingham Palace visit. According to People magazine, when Rhodes jokingly told Obama that maybe the monarchy really is a dying empire, Obama didn't disagree. Instead, he laughed. No, they've still got a lot going on, Obama said. Did you see the bling on the Queen? Rhodes, a big sycophant, saying the United Kingdom is a dying empire, is definitely reflecting Obama's true feelings, as the former president laughs and sarcastically quips back about the Queen's bling. Nigel Farage, a British conservative politician, described U.S. President Barack Obama as a loathsome individual and creature who couldn't stand our country, reported the BBC. But that's not all. You can bet Barack Obama's long-awaited tell-all will include his own unflattering stories about the British monarchy. Why Obama would allow Rhodes to include his crass remark about the Queen's bling proves he has no qualms about causing the monarch embarrassment. Queen Elizabeth II, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, Prince Philip during the state visit in 2011, photo credit, Adrian Dennis, AFP, Getty Images, of course, Obama knows Elizabeth II will. He asked to comment on the statement, and palace insiders say she is also livid about the other anecdote Rhodes and Obama included in the book. P. reports, the Obama's visit to Buckingham Palace was a jovial time for the couple, even if it did include some odd rodent drama. According to the book, the president was in his room going over his speech with his aides as the first lady was getting ready to sleep in another room when, suddenly, a butler appeared. Mr. President, pardon me, the butler reportedly said. There is a mouse, Obama replied, don't tell the first lady. Mortified, the butler stated, we'll try to catch it, sir, Obama repeated, just don't tell the first lady. Out of all the incredible stories Rhodes could have included about their visit with the Queen, who graciously went out of her way to give the Obamas a tour of Westminster Abbey and brought out rare documents from the American colonies at the palace, Rhodes and Obama decided to talk about bling and a mouse. Maybe it was a way of Obama getting payback on the Queen.
During that 2011 trip, the Queen gave a cold shoulder to the former president for breaking royal protocol offering a toast. While they are playing her song, God Save the Queen, well, this wasn't the first time Obama showed his disrespect. The Washington Examiner reports, while visiting the Queen, the Obama family gave her an iPod, prompting raised eyebrows from the British press. The MB3 player came preloaded with photos from President Obama's inauguration and audio files of the president's speech as a senator to the 2004 Democratic National Convention and his 2009 inauguration address. The Queen reportedly already had an iPod, and I'm sure she was really excited to listen to Obama's speeches and look at photos of Barack. Talk about an arrogant gift. Well, the United Kingdom's people definitely have strong feelings about Barack. British citizens gave Barack a nasty surprise by weighing in on Rhodes and Obama's latest gaffe toward their beloved Queen. Jessica Hood, a resident of Nottingham, UK, commented, The last thing Queen Elizabeth wanted to hear, Obama revealing the monarchy secrets. I am sure he won't be invited never again, Katie Conker, Honcher Chessex, United Kingdom posted, The Dark Years of U.S. History. Obama the Embarrassment, Tacky Trash, Deep State, Jack Jacob wrote, That is incredibly indiscreet. Quite obviously you do not understand the basic rules of etiquette regarding discussing openly when you have stayed at someone's home, let alone that of a monarch. You really are a common little oik. We in America aren't surprised that Barack and Michelle would sanction Rhodes giving the Queen such a disgraceful smackdown. The Queen prides herself on her hospitality, and ending an overnight visit at Buckingham Palace is a rare honor for anyone. To repay the 92-year-old monarch, who saw Britain through World War II, with this kind of slight proves. The Obamas and their leftist buddies will sell out anyone as long as they get a nice payday. Facebook has greatly reduced the distribution of our stories in our readers' news feeds and is instead promoting mainstream media sources. When you share on social media, however, you greatly help distribute our content. Please take a moment and consider sharing this article with your friends and family. Thank you.